brief it's gonna be we'll see here in a minute <laughs> shopping haul video um what i have done is if you follow me on social media you'll know that i have really not been feeling good at all here lately and i'm gonna be having surgery soon and it's gonna be in my jaw and when they do that i'm not gonna be able to talk for a while so i have filmed a whole bunch of videos this one included that i will space out over a period so that there won't be any huge gaps in filming. I know it's been a few days since I filmed my last one, but I'm sitting down to make a bunch of them at, over the course of the next few days. But anyway, at Walmart, uh, I did pick up some of these fat quarters of fabric because I want to make some fabric pumpkins. It's almost fall, y'all. It's almost that time to start making stuff like that. And I know everybody and their brother on social media makes fabric pumpkins, but I'm going to make some too. So I got that fabric. And for the stems of those pumpkins, I know in the past I have used like sticks for things I've got out of my backyard. And a lot of people have said, well, I don't have sticks. I live in a city. What can I do? You can use whatever you can find. But I came across these at Walmart over with the artificial flowers. It's called bowl filler. But I thought these would be absolutely perfect to make stems for the pumpkins. Or, you know, you could use this for so many other different things. So, I can't remember exactly how much this was. It was not expensive. I believe this was like less than five bucks and you get a whole lot of them. You can make a whole lot of pumpkins with these little things. Um, no, that came from, that came from Joann's. That didn't come from Walmart. Anyway, markers for my Cricut. Let's put that over there, it's not very exciting. Um, these leaves, two in a pack. And these are really awesome to use for photo props or if you just want to use them to decorate around your house, whatever you want to do with them. They were $2 and at my Walmart, they were over in the fabric section in a big bin of clearance stuff for 50 cents, 50 cents for two. So they only had three. So I grabbed those. I noticed, I went to uh, another Walmart the other day. I noticed they had a lot of flowers on clearance too. So check yours, you know, they might, uh, might have some good stuff that you can use for cheap. Now I did get a handful of these. This also came from Walmart. This was in the clearance section with the, um, like all the graduate stuff and, and graduating party stuff. It was $9.98 and they're now $2.50. And I thought it was real cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I know I wanna take this off or sand it down or something. But I'm, I'm looking right here and look, that looks like a sticker. This whole round part just looks like a sticker that you can pull off. And you can send that down and, and repaint it. So I don't know exactly what I want to do with it, but for $2.50, I'm going to come up with something. So I got a handful of those. Was that all the Walmart stuff? I didn't get a lot of, of things that were not Dollar Tree related. I'm looking around. Yes, that was it. Now, as far as Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, I got some of these cute little signs. That's how they look on the back. And I got a bunch of these wooden rulers because, you know, everybody, once again, everybody and their brother or sister, mama, whoever, all across social media and on Pinterest is making crates and boxes and things out of these signs and the wooden rulers. So I got supplies so that I can make some too because, yes, I am jumping all over that bandwagon. The way I'm feeling, I might fall off the bandwagon. <laughs> As of this moment, I'm going to try to jump on that bandwagon and make some of my own. Now, let's get into the other Dollar Tree stuff. Y'all know I love notebooks and notepads and things of that nature and things with which to write. And, you know, they had uh, the sets of the llamas and pineapples. And I think there was another set that they had. Well, now they got out a bunch of mermaid things. So I got this little sheet of puffy stickers, mermaid for life, mermaids only. I thought, how cute is that? I'm going to set that over there and hope it doesn't fall down. Now, I've already opened these so that I could show you the inside. And I think I got rid of the wrappers. Well, here's one. They come in like little plastic things like this. And they were hanging up. And my store was near the registers. But this is like a little sketch pad. There's no lines or anything on that. And this one's labeled as a journal. It says mermaids have more fun. This has lined pages. And each one has a little seahorse. This is a mermaid tail notepad, and I thought this was really cute. The pages have mermaid scales on them. How cute is that? 
And I'm like, you know, how cute would this be? Like if you're at work or school or whatever, and you're bored to just doodle and color in the scales and just give yourself something to do. Uh, that was really cute. Do I have any more mermaid stuff? I thought I had. I'm losing things. Oh, here we are. A notepad. I thought this was maybe like a sticky notepad, but it's not. It's just normal pieces of paper. It says you are mermazing. I remember all those uh, mermaid tail pins I got not too long ago. This will go with all of those. Now for these. This is adorable. In my store, these were up front near all the back to school supplies. Um, if you remember in a previous video, I had bought a bunch of notepads that had these little designs on them with the animals and the little sayings. And now I found these are actually pencil cases. But y'all know me. I'm going to use this to store paint brushes or crochet hooks or something. I don't know. Probably not going to put pencils in it. But speaking of pencils, I like to draw. And these are my preferred drawing tool and mechanical pencils. And I got this at the Dollar Tree as well. So I might put these in one of these bags. So I just thought that they were really cute. And y'all know my favorite animal in the whole wide world is the fox. So I was... I was pretty stoked to find this one that says be clever. So there's those. So let me put this back into my bag here. A bunch of little pencil boxes. Of course, I want to use this to put scissors or something in. Little things. Let's see. I don't know how long these will last because, see, the lids here is like just a really thin piece of plastic. And every time you open it, it's bending. Bend, bend, bend. And eventually like me, eventually that plastic is just going to snap on you. So, don't know how long it will last. And this is a glue stick. How exciting is that? <laughs> all right, now I got a bag over here of all of the new Bolero products. And a lot of people really like seeing all of the new stuff that Bolero comes out with. You know what, let's set that blueberry stuff over there for a moment. This is a new scent that just came out in my store. It's the Hydra Mist Coconut Water. And you know, I'm not the biggest fan of coconut, as in eating it, smelling like it, putting it on myself. But I'm like, I love this stuff so much. And I want to try all of the smellies. So this is the Coconut Water Facial Serum. Now I have tried this in other scents. And pretty much all it is is mineral oil. Okay, it's mineral oil with a little bit of fragrance. And it is very, very thick. So you only need just a little bit of it. I don't really like using mineral oil on my face because it's very, very heavy. But, you know, a little bit here and there, it's okay. Um, this is the Coconut Water Face Wash. It hydrates and replenishes for a brighter you. <laughs> I love reading all these labels on these things just to see what all they say. I can be a brighter me by using this. But here are the face wipes. And I've mentioned in other videos before, I have fairly sensitive skin and, and none of the Bolero stuff ha has aggravated. I've not broken out or had any redness or itching or anything when it comes to this stuff. So um, I have no problem with using it. This is a two pack hand cream. And then of course you have the body wash. We have bath soak, these little salts there and a hand wash and yes <laughs> i use the hand wash as bubble bath so let's go to the next scent this was fairly new now they do have a bar soap in this scent and it was all sold out at my store like the the packaging was there like the display was there but it was all sold out because when this new bolero stuff comes out at least in my area people just pounce on it and they grab it but i was lucky enough to get this set here this is coconut and aloe vera. Once again, with the coconut stuff. <laughs> so much coconut. Coconut and aloe vera is a paper facial mask. And what this stuff is, if, if you've never used one of these before, it's kind of like a gel type stuff that's inside this package. And then inside it's a mask with the eyes and the mouth cut out. And it's kind of like that material that baby wipes are made out of. And then you unfold it and then you pack it on your face, take it off after a while. And then I like to massage all the residual stuff into my skin. But that's what that is. And then you have the facial wash and facial mist. I like this mist. Um, I actually use another of their facial mist. It was a different scent, but um, I really, I really like this stuff. Like I said, no redness, no irritation or anything. And then they have the coconut and aloe vera shampoo and conditioner. 
And once again, <laughs> referring to a previous video, my hair has its stages and I get my shampoo and stuff from Ulta, but every now and again in between, I will use the Bolero shampoo and conditioner. I have been known to use this as a body wash and also while I'm in the shower. And my grandma used to do this too and her skin looked like a teenager's. Slather myself from hand to toe with conditioner and stand there while the shower is running with the steam and the heat and everything just for a few minutes and then rinse it off and you are so silky smooth. Okay, now let's get to the Blueberry Bliss. Now this bar is so here, someone had opened it and had it just laying on a shelf and so they had reduced it down to 50 cents. I don't know why people do that. Stop it. The Blueberry Bliss soap. And then of course the facial mask, which is the same as that aloe vera kind. And this stuff really does smell good. And then you have the facial wash and the spray. Let's take a look at this spray right quick. Okay, it's got water and denatured alcohol, glycerin, some castor oil. So it, it has alcohol in it, but yeah, it's got glycerin and stuff, which is a humectant, which, you know, draws in moisture from the air. Um, blueberry fruit extract. Don't know how much of this is pure blueberry, but you know, <laughs> it does okay with my skin. And then once again, the shampoo and conditioner. And one more scent. Now with this scent, this is all that my store had. There was no shampoo and conditioner. There was nothing else but this. It's called All That Glitz. It's the facial mask. It's pomegranate and green tea scented. And then you have the facial wash and the mist. Now they did have some bath bomb type things. They looked flatter than bath bombs and they're called shower steamers. And you know, you use them like a bath bomb, but when you're taking a shower and they're kind of flat on the bottom, and they rest on the bottom of the shower and as the steam and the water hits it, it releases the scent. So you don't actually have to take a bath to use it. But that package was really damaged and one of them was crushed and I wasn't gonna mess with it. But anyway, they did have that to match that. And new bath bombs, glitter bath bombs. And I don't know if you can see this in the package. Hello, extreme close up. Um. It does have a lot of glitter. <laughs> Just looking at it like this, I don't know how much glitter it's gonna put in the bathtub, but I don't see anything on here that says anything about how they smell. And I can't really smell it through the package, but anyway, I don't wanna open them right now. But there's that. I'm looking around and I think that's actually all that, yeah, that's all that I got. I mean, nothing big and exciting, but you know, just a few of the new Bolero stuff. Like I said, a lot of people ask me about the new Bolero scents and please let them see it whenever I get a hold of them. So there they are. But anyway, I do have a bunch of videos already filmed. I'm gonna space them out because here shortly, I'm not really gonna feel all that well and I'm not gonna wanna record. So there's that. But if you would, please, please give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media. Links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.